All right, guys, time for another battery. We received a pallet of batteries and we're gonna take it apart and see what's in there. All right, first things first, this seems to be a 2170 or 21700 cell battery module. It's all made out of steel or aluminum, but it's metal and it's got this metallic uh, cover also and then it's got these two straps so you can raise it up. Uh, it's got these little flanges so you can mount it onto something and then big, big uh, beefy cables here, 10 gauge. So there's dual 10 gauge, right? Two positives, two negatives, and then it goes into this connector here. If anybody recognizes this connector, let us know. I'm gonna look it up. Otherwise, it'll just be probably better just to cut it and put our own. And then it's got this other connector. It's got two, so that one and then this little one and then this one with four conductors and then this one that is just the power right what does it say on the side let's look at it made in china lithium-ion battery uh 10 inr 2170 so nominal voltage and rated capacity is 37 volts which tells us that it's a 10s 52 volts uh 32 so 37 to 52 52.8 though, look, this is really high voltage. If it was a 10S, uh, wow, 10S, that would be 42 because each cell would be 4.2. How is it possible that it can be, unless it's an 11S? We're gonna have to check this because this doesn't seem to be 1953.6 watt hours. Oh no, here we go. Limited charging voltage, 42.5. Okay, why does it say 52 though? Yeah, so basically 42, that's a 10S, yeah. Uh, manufacture this company here and then that. Let's take this apart and see how what's inside. So it's got this thermal material here, which means that it's using the case cover as a heat sink. Whisks all the, the heat out of there and then it puts it up against the thing. Probably the same on the bottom. Let me uh, take these screws off and then we can take the whole module out. Okay, so that should come off now, hopefully. It's got some kind of uh, carbon fiber board on the bottom here. And then this is probably the BMS, right? Let's look at the cells. So INR. All right, so it looks like these are the cells. They're LG Chem uh, 21750. Um, yeah, 7.2 amps. They're 5,000 milliamp hours. And then, uh, yeah, max continuous discharge is 7.27 amps. Nominal voltage 3.6, so which is weird why they, they list that as a 37 volt nominal thing. And then max is 4.2, this is all typical. There we go. So we have 27, uh, yeah, 7.2 amps. All right, so it looks like the configuration is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is a 10S, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cells in parallel. So 10S, 11P. So how much power would that be able to do? Let's see. So it's 7.2 times 11. All right, so that's a uh, 79 point something, right? So 80 amps continuous. It could probably do peaks, uh, higher peaks. Does it say here? It doesn't say anything, but according to this, I mean, these cables look pretty beefy for, um, you know, these can handle 150 amps, no problem. Uh, not continuous, but burst, right? So yeah, 80 amps continuous. They are over, a bit oversized on the cables there, unless they're running this with a lot of like peaks, right? Let's look at the BMS. All right, all right. So this cover just clips on right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit hard to take off, but it just clips on. Okay, so everything is going through these. There's a positive and negative here. Ooh. Okay, it's coming off. Ooh, okay, so there we go. Right, so look at that. This BMS is massive. It has a 150 amp um, 
fuse. It's got big resistors there. It's just, uh, yeah, it looks super beefy. Where are the, the MOSFETs? Are uh, probably underneath that heat sink right there. And the bus bars are pretty, yeah, I mean, obviously, because it probably could do 100 amps or a hundred, uh, just a, under, it has to be under this, right? 150, so the cells could do 80 amp continuous, so it'll probably do bursts of like, you know, 120 or something, and that's why they put it 150. Uh, obviously, I don't know if this BMS, if we're gonna be able to make it work, right? Obviously it has, uh, it's proprietary to whoever designed this pack, but the good thing is that you could take it, up, take it out and then you could put could put her on. So we're definitely gonna uh, invest some time in uh, figuring that route and then, but fixing this would be the probably the optimum because I mean, it's a BMS and it's pretty cool in there, but obviously I don't have time to try to figure it out today. So this video is just gonna be just to show you the battery pack the way it is and that you could take it apart. Uh, also, I wanted to check the voltages. You know, obviously this is just a random pack off of the pallet but hopefully it's representative of uh, all the other ones, right? And I think there are gonna be a lot more of these coming. We just had one pallet, but we kinda, this is our test, you know, this is our, just our sample so that we could figure out if we want to buy these and try to sell them to you guys or not. So right now this pack is sitting at 40.9 volts, right? So uh, 8.9, one so that's two cells you divide that so it's uh four yeah so they're right at four volts 8 .1, 8 .1, 8 .1, 8 .1. so it's pretty balanced all the cells are sitting just just a tiny bit above four volts right because overall yeah 40.9 so yeah, every they're all 4.09 volts and they're very well balanced, which means this BMS is working. Man, if we can get this BMS working, it would be awesome, right? But again, if, if we don't, then it's easily changeable. So like you see, we just took a few screws, right? Uh, there's no like, other than this glue right here that is a little bit stiff or whatever, no big deal. We should be able to make another board in here, put a BMS put you know just make it work with with this right now as it is and you know we'll stay tuned for that but right now we have this palette we're gonna set these the way they are if you want to figure it out on your own then obviously we're gonna you're you're more than happy to do it right these are good quality cells lg cam cells the five point you know whatever five five milliamp hour so there's just a two kilowatt hour pack right here i wish it was a different voltage but it's a 10s it's a 36 volt battery nominal right uh it works from 36 you know from 27 i think volts all the way to 42 that is the working voltage range on this battery and it could be used for all kinds of things imagine you could set two of these side by side and then you can uh connect them in parallel do you have you know like 100 200 amps probably uh uh well 180 amps continuous of use right uh and or you can set them in series and now you have a really high performance um 72 volt battery for like like a motorcycle or an e-bike like a really high performance e-bike something like that right so these are very energy dense uh and they're you know they're they're decent power density in there right so uh let me put it in the scales so it looks like it's uh 22.6 pounds for two kilowatt hours that's basically 11 pounds per kilowatt hour uh about 11 and a half uh 12 inches with the little ears there by 10 inches about three and a half three and a quarter inches high right so very very compact very light there's a lot of energy in here. All right, if you're interested in these batteries, they're gonna be available at jack35.com. I wanna thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.